just because it can be a little slick. The Glass Seal Monitoring Program was established in 1999 as part of the uh, Fishery Management Plan for American Eels. We use the Glass Seal Survey to monitor uh, trends and recruitment of the American eel up and down the coast. Uh, each state's required to conduct a glass eel survey. So the first thing we try to do when we come down here is get all the eels out of the trap, put them in this, this it's called a splitter box. And basically we're, we're enumerating these eels volumetrically. It saves us having to count all these one by one. We have this level here, and so we try to get our level, and then drop it, and it splits the quantity we have here. Essentially, we're having them until we get down to a manageable amount, and then we can extrapolate back to, to the total catch. So we get it down to a manageable amount, and then we'll count the rest of these. Yeah, we had uh, a little over 7,000 eels uh, on Friday morning, and um, so that, I believe that equated to six splits uh, in the splitter box with a little over 100 glass eels actually counted. We had a catch of 65,000 earlier this week, and then uh, one year we've had as many as uh, 95,000 in, in one catch. And here's an example of what these guys grow up. To. Most likely uh, a one-year-old or a two-year-old yellow eel. Now, for the purpose of this survey, we're not so much interested in these guys. So we pull them out. Glass eels are actually a, the second stage. Uh, if of the American eel life cycle. The first being the egg and they hatch to the larvae. The larvae drift on the, the ocean currents and um, eventually will get pushed towards shore and towards the estuaries um, where they'll metamorphose into the glass eel stage. The glass eel um, gets its name because it's fairly translucent. Once it reaches fresh water, it'll start to um, pigment and um, eventually become what we call, or what's known as a, a yellow eel. Another yellow in, eel in here I gotta dig out. Eels in Delaware will remain in the yellow eel phase for anywhere from six to 10 years, um, and at which point they somewhat metamorphose again, or they go through another transition, which is the silver eel stage. They essentially um, cease to eat at that point. They're putting all their energy into creating fat stores for the long migration back to the Sargasso Sea in the Caribbean where they'll spawn for the only time in their life and then they'll die. Eels, they play both um, ecological and um, also economical roles in Delaware. Typically they are they average out to be about the third largest fishery we have in Delaware in, in terms of monetary value. Ecologically they are prey for numerous birds, species of birds and fish, um, turtles, etc. We're still seeing a lot of eels um, to date, it is the 29th of February, and we've already caught as many as we've caught in some entire six-week surveys in previous years. So things are looking good right now. Uh, we hope they continue to look up uh, for the abundance of American eel and the continued persistence of it and its importance in, in the Delaware estuary and to the citizens of Delaware.